Yes, we want our freedom. Yes, we want our freedom, children. Yes, we want our freedom. We want our freedom and we want it now. Yes, we want our freedom. Yes, we want our freedom, children. Yes, we want our freedom. We want our freedom and we want it now. Today, we want to invite you to join us in celebrating the 100th anniversary of the National Park Service. And in the process, tell the stories of just some of the National Park sites and monuments that celebrate the black experience in the heartland. Who knows? Maybe you'll hear about a park you want to explore yourself. Or, just as the National Park Service encourages, maybe you'll find your park from the comfort of your own seat here in this very theater. And before I be a slave, I'll be buried in my grave. And go home to my Lord and be free. In 1846, Dred Scott was about 50 years old and had spent his entire life living as a slave. At one point, I was taken up to Illinois and Wisconsin by my master or, or owner. It was the first time I had ever seen free people. The first time I realized what that meant, I knew it was something that I had to have. My good citizens, I urge you to look into your hearts and stand with me against this issue of slavery. I am an abolitionist, then urge me not to pause. For joyfully do I enlist in freedom's sacred cause. In 1863, Abraham Lincoln passed the Emancipation Proclamation. This ended slavery in the southern states. No more auction block for me. No more, no more. No more auction block for me. Many thousand gone. I'm Junior Ranger Christopher, and my duty is to explore, learn, and protect. And, and you can be a Junior Ranger too. All you have to do is go to a national park and sign up, and you get a really cool badge and a certificate, and you get to explore the park and learn about the park and share everything you know about the park with everyone! I am George Washington Carver, and it's right here in this here laboratory that I did all of my work. I love science and education my whole life. And when I was growing up, education was hard to come by. I was born a slave in Diamond, Missouri, and from there I faced many challenges in life. W.R. Hill's the name, and I come welcoming each and every one of you to the largest black colony in America, Nicodemus, Kansas. Nicodemus? That's right, located on the beautiful Solomon River, 240 miles northwest of Topeka. No saloons will be allowed in town. Come join us in the promised land. Great soil, great climate. Well, that sounded good to me. Next thing I knew, me and my husband were on our way to Kansas. Six foot two, expert on a pistol and a rifle, superhuman strength. Those are just some of the words used to describe me. How do you do? I'm Bass Reeves. I was born a slave in the great state of Texas and grew to be one of the most famous deputies in the Wild West. Coach Rudy. This is a really good crowd here. Oh, it reminds me of when we renewed our vows at the Sleeping Bear Dunes in 1970. Gertrude, what are we doing on this here stage? These people didn't come here to see us. Can you believe it? It's 100 years old, the National Park Service. Why, it's such a big deal, I baked a cake. There were nine of us in all. Our first day at Little Rock Central High School. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Elizabeth Eckford, and I'm to be one of the first black students at Little Rock Central. I didn't have a telephone then, so I didn't get the message that we were all going to enter the school together. I rounded the sidewalk, and when I walked up to the front door, that's when things got really bad. Thank you for joining us in our celebration of the 100th anniversary of the National Park Service. And we hope you enjoyed our production of Lift Every Voice, The Black Experience in the Heartland. We want our freedom and we want it now.